yo what's up guys and welcome back for another video today is a wednesday so that means it's reset in world of warcraft and that means i'm gonna loot my mailbox because i'm doing that every single wednesday uh, as we reset the servers uh, so uh today is of, of course uh no different we're gonna look into my mailbox and see how much i've sold for the last seven days or the last week in order to see how many weeks i have to spend or have to farm to make a gold cap which is basically 10 million gold so uh, we're gonna do the same today of course and to recap from last week we finished on uh 6.2 million from last week which was week 25 so this week is 26 and um, and yeah we we are currently at 6.2 million so uh, let's look into the mailbox and see how far i've gotten in this channel and see how much gold i've actually made from this past seven days so let's do this okay uh, almost 400k, 391,000, uh, which is pretty decent. It's a little bit over average. I think I'm averaging about 300, 350 a week. So uh, 400 is, is above average, so that's decent. Uh, I sold 66 auctions. Excuse my voice. Uh, so uh, comparing to uh, the auction sold and the, the, uh, the value, I think it's pretty decent. I think it's pretty good. Um, so yeah, let's just go through the items, see if there's anything interesting. And um, yeah. We can already probably tell almost what we're going to end up at. We're probably going to end up at around 6.6 .6 million. So um, not far from 7 million, which is good. We only need about 2.4 million till uh, to the gold cap. Uh, so shouldn't take too long now. But let's go through the mailbox for this week, though. Um, the first piece here is, is, which is worth is mentioning uh, is a crafted piece. Um, so um, good that they sell. Um, the next one, Iron Grab Sword Sword, Short Sword, uh, hard to say for, <laughs> for me. Uh, it is actually a, a Lich King dungeon item that I've gotten in one of the Lich King dungeons I've farmed. Uh, I think it's actually one of the only pieces from the Lich King dungeons that I've currently have sold yet. So, and I've sold two of them. So that's pretty decent. Um, the, one of the only things from the Lich King dungeons that I've yeah, managed to sell so far. So that's good. Uh, salt Stone uh, is also Leggings, Leg Change. Uh, is a farm transmog in Diamond, the one that I've just done, Gordor Common. Uh, I got two of them, so I actually have one more on the ocean house, which is good. But this sells for 23. Uh, actually, it's probably 25, but then there's a the auction house cut thingy, 5%. So, um, yeah, pretty decent. Valgar Helmet uh, is a crafted transmog where you have to get some reputation in one of the, uh, the big mushroom uh, zone in Outland or in. Yeah, in Outland, in TBC. Uh, another sealed tomb of Lost Legion. I'm selling a lot of these. If you've been following the cleanhouse, you know know of this item. Uh, a formula, another formula, a pattern, and another pattern as well. Uh, a Guardian's Belt, 19,000. Rich purple silk shirt, uh, 75,000. Pretty decent. Um, yeah, I've had this for a long time, actually, but eventually they sell uh, and i don't know if it has anything to do with the upcoming changes to crafting that will be implemented in the new expansion um because then uh, you can accept work from other people but obviously there's going to be a lot more information about that maybe for me if i can get into the beta we'll hope so but maybe that's why people are starting buying patterns hopefully that will also mean that uh, they probably go up in value that i won't complain about that um but yeah nice nice uh, we got a loaded Gnomeris dice, uh, which is a toy found in Oldham in um, Cataclysm. Oh my god, in the uh, old time period, not with the uh, invasion of it. Um, what else? What else? What else? We have some fell steel bars, almost 120 of them, uh, for almost 40,000, 36,000. And not bad. I've had these for pretty long, actually. Not, uh, for a material, it's pretty long. But someone apparently needed their 120 of them, so I'm not complaining there. Um, we've got a deep, deep dive helmet, which is a crafted transmog. Uh, I'm usually crafting 10 of these at a time because they don't cost anything to craft. Um, sometimes they sell for a little bit less, but 5k is really decent for that item. Um, what do we have here? Oh, some braces, more loons, braces. Um, 72,000, okay. I um I got these in Stratham a long time ago. Like it's I've probably had these for like more than a year, maybe even two years actually. Um 
I believe, according to Wowhead at the moment, they are currently unobtainable. Um, someone, I, I just checked it before <laughs> recording. Um, someone posted there saying it's definitely not un unobtainable, but that was in 2018 that he got it. So, um, apparently on Wowhead, this is on an unobtainable item. So, taking that into consideration, it's actually pretty cheap that I've sold it for 72000 if it's not obtainable anymore. But, as I said, I've had it probably two years, I'm not going to lie, probably two years. So that, it's, it, that it finally sold, I'm pretty happy with that. Could I have gotten more? Maybe. But it's 72000 it's not bad, it's not bad, it's decent. Um, what else do we have? A war worn troll dice. Um, it's another farm, uh, another toy farm, uh, just as the loaded tro uh, Gnomish dice. This is just a one troll dice, this is another place. This is actually in the Lich King expansion, um, and it's in Ice Crown, actually. I have a video on it on my channel if you want to watch that. And then at the end, we have a Nightblade as well, which is a epic weapon that I've probably gotten in one of my dungeon runs. I might actually have gotten in Temple. Um, I think I got one epic there in one of the last runs I did. It might have been this one, but I'm not 100% sure about that. There's a few dungeons in Classic that you can where you can get this this particular blade uh, or sword. So um, yeah, pretty decent, pretty decent clean out. I'd say four hundred thousand almost for sixty six auctions. Um, which, as I said, will take us to about six point six, uh, six point six million. So hopefully, if we can if we can do this again next week, we'll be at seven million by week twenty seven. Um, not where I would have liked to be because as I, as I'm mentioning every time, I would have liked liked to have finished the gold cap by week thirty. Um, but that's looking very unlikely unless I sell something big. Um, but um, slowly, slowly progressing towards the ten million. I mean, seven million is not far from it. It's definitely closer than what we started with. So um, I'm happy. I'm happy. It's just a decent clean out. It's a decent clean out. But yeah, that was it for this week's clean out. Uh, if you enjoyed, make sure you leave it a like. Um, comment something down below if you feel like it. Uh, and also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on next week. And also, so you don't miss out on any other content I'm be posting on my channel. And and also, I'm doing most most. I'm doing pretty much all of my gold farming over on my Twitch. Uh, I live stream them over on Twitch.tv. It's of course little fix as it is here on YouTube. So uh, go over there, follow me, um, chat with me there, uh, uh, come say hi. And um, of course, I leave the link in the description so you can find it m more easily. But yeah. Um, that was it and then i guess i'll see you in the next week's clean out have a good one bye bye <laughs>